he's super loyal and he um <laughs> sorry <laughs> Ancient ale was. I'd say it's pretty appropriate. I mean, I know it's like hearkening back to the medieval times more, but it's fine. Yeah, they slay dragons. It's close enough. Yeah, because this yeah. is described as somewhere between wine and mead. So this will be interesting. Yes. Let's check it out. Give her a go. Mmm, I like it. It tastes like grape soda a little bit, but not as sweet. It kind of does. This is different. I like it. I do too. It's just really weird. Like I, I have trouble weird. like describing it. It uh, to me, it's kind of like grape soda. Yeah, I could taste that. Yeah, and it says it's made with barley, honey, white muscat grapes, and saffron. Hmm. All right, so let's get into this tag. Let's do it. Um, we also have some little dinosaurs to accompany us. Some cute little dinosaurs. My boss, Jamie, brought these to me at work the other day. And you can, you put them on your finger and you can shoot them. <laughs> I did <it> again. <laughs> I'm for some reason really bad at like shooting rubber bands and anything like that. I'm just really bad at it. Um, Oh, and I wore my dinosaur shirt, too. Which is super my awesome. Dinosaur sweater. Which is, they're dead dinosaurs, but, you know. All dinosaurs are dead, so, you know. True. Fine. Or are they Loch Ness Monster? Crocodiles <laughs> are essentially dinosaurs. So are those uh, gar fish? Yeah. Yep. I caught a gar once. It was terrifying. That sounds pretty <laughs> terrifying. I knew one in college. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first question is what's your favorite dinosaur? And I said a motherfucking pterodactyl. Motherfucking pterodactyl. A motherfucking pterodactyl. And I said a motherfucking triceratops. Because they have three tops. Their name literally <laughs> means like three pointed head or something yeah. like that. Something along those lines. Which is an I accurate like that. Uh, description. So, you know. Yeah. I like the pate for the pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Yeah. <laughs> like animals with silent letters in their Yeah, hands. with like redundant letters. Yeah. Yeah. Like possums. Yeah. <laughs> I dig it. Are they your favorite marsupial? You know, if I had to pick a marsupial, I don't know that I would choose a possum. But, you know, they're scrappy. I'll give them that. They're scrappy. Scrappy little underdogs. Remember when there was a baby possum in the warehouse? Oh, fuck yes. It was so cute. It was pretty cute, but I then was going to save big. it and then it disappeared. Ooh, Sasha killed a possum, mm. but it was like, it was like this Hi. big. It was a big oh son bitch. So, <clears throat> Alan Grant, name a book character you think would survive Jurassic Park. <laughs> you left me right on the mouth. You can't make that with me, Sue. You can't. You're a mess. Don't make out with her. All right, so... <laughs> The character I said that I thought would survive <laughs> Jurassic Park is Jude 
Saint Francis. <laughs> because that would be just his luck. Yeah. But he wouldn't make it out unscathed. Oh no. He'd like lose the limbs. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it, 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 he wouldn't have a good time, but he'd make it out. He'd be, like, in the Jeep as they're driving away, but they'd hit a bump and he'd fall out <laughs> and then get run over by another Jeep. Because that's, that's his life. Yeah. Um, I said Lilith Ayapo from the Xeno, Xenogenesis series um, by Octavia Butler. Let's get over there. Because, oh, it gets all the way close. So close. <laughs> Just get a really big shirt. We can both wear it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I said Lilith Iapo because she's pretty. Um, she's very adaptable. I mean, she adapts to aliens and all kinds of crazy shit. So. Why not dinosaurs? Why not fucking dinosaurs, man? Next is Ellie Sattler. Name a character who's willing to risk their life to save others. Um, I said Furman from The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Because he's super loyal and he uh, would do anything for his friends. Alright. And I said Bilbo Baggins because he did risk his life he a few times to save game. those dwarves. He left his hobbit hole to go forth an adventure. Yep. Um... All right, Ian Malcolm. So oh, soon. <laughs> AKA. AKA Jeff, Jeff Goddamn Goldblum. <laughs> um, a book in which you could predict the ending. Uh, I, I chose a whole series, which was the Lunar Chronicles. Uh, I thought they were pretty predictable, yeah. but I, I did really enjoy them. I liked them. I thought they were fun, and yeah, but I mean, it was it was a pretty predictable series. True fact. <laughs> um, I said Zone 1 by Colson Whitehead because it literally tells you, like, in the description on the back of the book how it ends. <laughs> so, you know, you can extrapolate from there. Right. Yeah. Um, it's still a really great book, though. Like, Colson Whitehead is an amazing writer, so it was still a great book. This one is Dennis Nedry, a character who is willing to put others in danger for their own benefit. Um, I said Ed. From the Heart Goes Last by... It occurs to me that I had books here the whole time that I could have been using. I don't have any of the books. That's okay. I'll just say it. Just use them now. Um, I said Ed from The Heart Goes Last by Margaret Atwood. He is like the... Um, he's the guy who runs the utopian society. And he... Um, Basically, as long as it appears that the project is successful and he continues to make money, he doesn't really care what happens in there. So, yes. And I said Nurse Ratched from One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest by Kim Kesey. Uh, yeah, she tries, does whatever she can to keep control mm -hmm. over, over the people in the... Um, mental institute and she just wants power. Power. Unlimited power. You have no power here. Gandalf the Grey. Hmm. Alright. Brachiosaurus. A book that took you a long time to finish. I think we both said the same book, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we both said a Watership, Watership Down, Down by Richard Adams, which was a very good book, but, but not damn, like, not overly compelling. I think it took me like over a month to read that. Same. It took me, I think, two months to read it, just because it was hard to like stay invested in. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was just very slow paced. It was. But I still really liked it, though. I loved it, yeah. I think I gave it four out of five stars. Me but, too. Yeah. Yeah. Next is T-Rex, a book you found intimidated... <laughs> <laughs> a book you found intimidating, but ended up loving. Um, I said The Hobbit, and that's just because like I wasn't really intimidated by it, but I was really nervous that I wouldn't like it, because it's so popular, and people really love this book, and it's my husband's favorite book. So I was a little bit nervous to read it, because I was like, well, what if I hate it? 
No worries. No worries. I no loved worries, it. Mate. Loved it. And I said Beloved by Toni Morrison because this is, I knew this was just like a really complex, intense, mm -hmm. and disturbing book. So I was kind of intimidated by it, but it was brilliant. It was phenomenal. It was yeah. brilliant. Brilliant. I tried to roll my arm, but I can't. Brilliant. I, can't do it. Brr, brr, I can do it for like a fraction of a second and it's gone. Brr. Brilliant. 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 If I spoke. Like, if my native language was Spanish, I would have a speech impediment. Yeah, but if your so native language was Spanish, you might be able to do it, because you would Maybe. Be, yeah. Um, alright. So, um, Velociraptor, a book that's fast-paced. I said Dolly City by Orly Castel Bloom. This book's really short, and a lot of shit happens, and it covers a pretty large span of time, like... I think at least 15 years. Wow. And it's bonkers. <laughs> that shit bananas. It's crazy. Like, this book is fucking weird. But I really liked it. And that's awesome. So, that was it. I said, oh, okay, good. That was super helpful. <laughs> um, I said, <laughs> Close Your Eyes, Hold Hands by Chris O'Hallian. Sure. Bo Boyalian? Boyalian? Maybe, depending on what nationality. Depending on if what? you can pronounce things correctly or not. <clears throat> um, this book, I borrowed this book from my boss. Um, it's about this girl who loses her parents when a nuclear reactor melts down um, and they live like by a nuclear power plant. And so it's like 288 pages long and some fucking shit happens in this book because she goes from like being a no pretty normal kid to being like homeless and having to like prostitute herself and then like she's on this quest the whole time to like basically get back home and figure out you know what the fuck she's supposed to do with her life now um so yeah i would say it's pretty eventful very eventful eventful i cried in that book there's a thing with the dog. Uh, the dog's fine, surprisingly, uh, but you don't know that right. for a while. All right, next is Pterodactyl, a book that flew you to another world. And I said, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, because why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, there was really good world building in that book, and it was just really fun and interesting. There's lots of different cultures, and it was super cool. I said Dune, Dune by Frank Herbert. I mean, again, wonderful world building. You like he goes in so much detail mm -hmm. into the planet Dune that it's just you imagine you could be there. You could be I right could be riding there. the sandworm. <laughs> I'm doing right That's sandworm. how I would do it. Yeah, just like that. I'd be like, yeehaw! I'm riding me a sandworm. <laughs> Ben Sanders and Game of Jones. Yes, and Hardback Order. Yes, mm -hmm. those are three people. Yep. So this just yeah. Midas touch. I like it. It's turning my my tummy to gold. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally, because that would be, you know, probably Pro death probably die. Yeah. yeah, probably die. But I really like this. It's like. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Mm -mm. It's not giving me lockjaw or anything. But it kind of tastes. It kind of tastes like grape soda. To it me. really kind of does. But way less sweet. Yeah. Like beer like flavored grapes. <laughs> mix them together. Ooh, maybe. But probably better. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna try that though. I'm just gonna. Good luck with that. Different kind of grape drink. Grape drink. <laughs> Purple drink. Purple drink. All right. All right. So, 
that's it. There will be some links down below where you can find us elsewhere on social media. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. You should totally And uh, tell us what your favorite dinosaur is down below. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.